Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX UK Mike 7 Echo India Whiskey. I want to welcome you to this uh, video where I'm showing my magnetic uh, magnetic QRP loop antenna um, that I use for uh, FT8 um, transmitting and decoding. So um, I was asked by Danny Shortwave Radio and DX about the uh, antenna that I'm using and also to provide a link for it. Well, I'm going to provide a link for it in the uh, description um, below. Um, so what it is is that um, as uh, if you followed my uh, previous videos about uh, doing FT8, um, I'm restricted for um, mounting uh, an, you know, an external antenna uh, because um, I live in a communal building and they will not allow me to mount my own uh, ant you know, antenna for example on the roof so what i have to do is i have to have you know my own antenna hanging off my uh you know bedroom window which is where i usually hang you know uh, hang my other antennas like for example the mla30 loop antenna because that's where i get the least noise um you know uh, for uh, reception anywhere else i just get a, a lot of uh, noise as in you know uh, noise from electronic appliances from i don't know from the neighbors or from uh, other houses nearby and um so on so Knowing how good loop antennas are at uh, minimizing uh, background noise and other noises, um, I got this um, magnetic QRP loop antenna um, from uh, eBay. Now, um, the price I paid for it was about, um, I think it was uh, 100 British pounds. Convert that com uh, to your currency. Um, I don't know if in the, uh, the link I've given they do worldwide delivery. If not, you can just do a search on eBay and I suppose someone else can do worldwide delivery. On these loops if uh, you know uh, if you want one um, just to you know just to point out as well that the maximum transmitting power on these loops they state is uh, 20 watts so I wouldn't go any further than that personally I would just take it up to somewhere like maybe 15 watts um, 1 5 watts um, just to be on the safe side but it's up to you how much power you want to put um, put into it but I would just say just you know um, don't take it any more than um, 20 watts what I like about this uh, loop antenna is that you can tune it for different parts of the band as you can see here so you can actually make it uh, resonant now no I know my Shegu G90 has uh, an antenna tuning unit in it um, to you know to make the antenna as resonant as possible but at least with this here um, you know you can actually tune it further to make it even more resonant you know just um, and that's why you know I also got this loop antenna um, for FDA transmitting because uh, I like the fact that it ca you know, came with uh, the ability to, to tune the antenna um, itself. Um, the only thing I didn't like was that the cable that they provide here um, for connecting um, to your transceiver, um, this cable here which is uh, using a barrel label connector BNC, um, it's not very long so you might have to buy another one um you know it's good quality it works fine uh, but uh, you might have to buy another uh bnc cable if uh, you want to run the uh, loop antenna um you know a further distance away from your um from your transceiver um and uh, yeah i'm very happy with this uh, loop antenna i can tell you that it's quite well weatherproof i've had it out in the rain quite a few times and it survived the rain so very pleased about that um hopefully when you get your loop antenna if you decide to get one of these um it'll be uh quite waterproof as well so just a heads up on this antenna that i've got in case uh you know um maybe we don't to have something like an nfed or a dipole and so on and you're restricted for antenna um you know installations like myself you need something that is quite good and, and does the job then i would recommend this uh, magnetic qrp uh, loop antenna something else to add about this um, antenna uh, magnetic loop antenna um, for QRP is that um, the diameter of this when uh, set up um, is something like 70 centimeters by 70 centimeters so um, the uh, width and the uh, the height um, of the antenna it's supposed to be a portable uh, QRP loop antenna but you can use it in the home um, very easily or you can mount it on a roof of your own home easily um, and the great thing is when you uh, dismantle the loop itself you can easily fit it into a small bag you can fit everything into a small bag so it's a it's a great option for um, you know if you want to do um, FT8 or ham transmitting you know um, in uh, in a mo you know when you go out uh, mobile in the field park etc
I wish you all 73s um, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.